Hello and welcome back to Dorka Chronicle. And welcome to Venecchio, 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 whatever you want to pronounce it. Yeah, so on the last adventure we found the, oh dear, the Shingura, Shingura village. And I found myself a Lapras, so I'm taking one with me if I can only find myself a Pokeball to take it in. Oh, the gift capsules, perfect. Yeah, so that's going to happen at some point. Uh, so now what I need to do is go into the Cabotarian. Open up the menu. There we go. Downloading Geostones. Geostones downloaded. Can now make a windmill, a lunar stone light, a purple iron house placed. Oh, yeah, I've done that already. Boat near purple. Oh, I've done that already. Green. Oh, we've done that already. Done that already. I've got to save the village. I've done that already. I need to do that. Oh, we need to do that. I think I've done that, actually. I don't know. Have I done that? Windmill placed. Symbol of Luna Lepra stored. Culture points. Sweet. Okay, right. Uh, windmill for starters. Place. I might actually play around with how this place looks at, to be fair. Although that does look pretty nifty. Let's have a quick look at the older analysis. Okay, so it's just the Luna. Oh, the weather vane's restored. Okay. So I just need to put down the stones and put some culture points down. I'm done. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to jump away and try and piece this together in a better way. I might make it longer, just because we can go all, all the way out here. So I might use this space, utilize all the space rather than just a little bit of it. Yeah. Let's have a look. Back in a second. And this is what it should look like when I'm done. I've sort of gone from more of a pier, traditional pier style, and as well as copying what it looks like in the future as well. So let's quickly paint some stuff. So how does it go again? It goes red. So this is Claire's house. Let's paint it. But also, look at this. You can paint the top bit as well. I didn't know you could do that. Maybe you can do that with the weather veins as well, which makes me worry a little bit. Right, now I need purple. Let's paint that. If that kind of looks purple already. I guess I'm mistaken. Uh, blue is next. I think it's this house. Let's paint that bit. And then that bit. And then last colour is green. Now this actually matches up what order they're in in the, oh, in the future. Which is why I'm doing it like this. There we go. That's the painting done. Right now, let's go to Pelace. Now, Lunar Stone Lights. This is the only thing left I need to do. I need to do eight. So if I do one, one there... So four on each side, but how am I going to do it? Maybe one there, one there, one at the edge there. Then we'll write down at the start. Then I can sort of copy that across. Like there. And here, just do it slightly differently. Like one there. And one in the middle here, opposite this one. Though, what if I put this? What if I change this one? Put it opposite this one exactly. There we go. Right. So what else we got left to do? I put all the boats down. Oh, it's just a co just the culture points now then, and that's what I've got all this stuff here for. So wooden gates. So I like to put wooden gates down, but I don't know where to put them here. But I'm going to put them at the beginning of each like pier that comes off. So we could have like some information on there about what's down this road. Like here lives Donny. Oh, that's a problem. Let me just change this one. Oh no. There we go. Changed. Right now, what do I do with the rest of the stuff? And I've placed them all in the places that I want to place them. So you can see what I've done here. I'm surprised you can put these trees on the pier. But I'm going to say they're in like pots or stuff or little little places. But yeah, so here we go. We've got some benches, all the things lining the drawers. We've got some uh, carts to transport the goods from the ships when they come in. You got a house here, a green one, which we need to put someone in. So let's put someone in there, shall we? Uh, move people in. Now, I don't know who to enter here. I think you should add anybody. Uh, but from what I've read, I can put mayor need in there, I think. 
let me know if it's different and I'll change it but I think it's okay and I'm putting him here because Claire lives here and if you think about it Claire and Donnie are both quite young I wonder if Morton's staying on the ball he has me a bit worried what do you do? Ooh, money after defeating enemies. That's good, but I get a lot of money anyway. Yeah, so you've got two children here, so you need an adult to look after them, and I think an ex-mayor, or a mayor, would be the best person to go for. Okay, and then you've got Claire's house over here, and with these stairs going down to the beach, so it's easy access. And you've got all these other bits and bobs as well. And then you've got the end here, we've got the windmill, Donnie's house, and someone here, a purple house. Now, I'm going to put someone here. Again, I think I could put this person here, I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to put Granny Rosa in here. She can retire. There we go. She can retire by the sea. I think that's a nice place for her. A retirement home, I suppose. Right, where's Granny Rosa? I never imagined I'll be moving at this age. What do you do? Makes cheese. That's not great, I must admit. Cool. Right, but that is Venocchio. I can never remember how to pronounce the bloody name. Vinecchio, or Vinecchio. I'm going to say Vinecchio because it seems like an Italian sort of city. But everything else has been done apart from save the Shingala, Jingura village. And that's it. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take Donnie with me. Because I want. Wonder if this is. Oh, I've read it before. So, view abilities. Opens locked doors, opens locked treasure chests. See? I think this is, he's a great guy. Cheers, Donny, a runaway boy. Great at opening locks. Nice one. Welcome to the journey. Nice one. But yeah, but that's that one. That's that's basically how I imagine this place looks. I'm quite pleased with it. Right, okay, anyway, let's go into the future now. And see what has changed. Here we go, here's the time gate. Let's do the time warp again. I do miss Borneo though. He was my loot guy. But this guy's my treasure hunter. Okay, so where do I need to go? I think it's the green lab. Lab 4, I believe. Oh, actually, that's the point. What's around? What's some... Supposed to be some sort of weather veins but it appears not. Hmm. I do need to get these chests as well, but I can't remember where I saw the... I mean, he's got the lights, but I can't remember where I saw the... Where did I see that? The guide where it showed me all of the miracle chests. I'll have to go back and have a look for that. But I'm going to go in here and have a look anyway. Let me see if I can't speak to that guy who had that great idea. Let's go have a look. No cutscene. We need to talk to people first. I got a really revolutionary idea. Okay, maybe I have to go and speak to Osmond instead. You know, the previous little Tommy in the alternative uh, timeline. Let's go. So, which one was he in? <laughs> Oh god, this place is so confusing. I think it was this one. I think, I hope. <laughs> right, so hopefully we'll go in here, we'll get the thing, and then we'll leave. Go and save the Shingala village, Shing Shingura village. Hopefully get myself a Lapras while I'm there. It's Osmond. Oi mate, give me your stuff. Well, looks like you did it! Guess my invention came through for you, eh? Hey, yes, indeed. I'm going to go and have a find out, because I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Typical, it's in the last lab I'll go in. Good golly gosh. Again, why do I say that? I never say that in my life. Hey there, I'm Dr. Knob. <laughs> I'm the head researcher here. But 
But you're a... I know what you're thinking. What's a kid doing in a place like this, right? Yeah, how come? You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. This lab relies on sheer ability. The more brains you have, the higher your position. It's only natural. So that means you're the smartest person here then? I guess you could say that. By the way, I know about you folks recovering the origin points Griffin destroyed. And now you're on a quest to restore the world. I just had the computer run an analysis. I even know what you're searching for. What? Really? A device to talk to sea dragons, right? Huh? Don't you want to go 10,000 years in the past? Oh, well that too. But first we need a machine to let us talk to those sea dragons. A Shigura translation device. We already have one of those. There's one already? Yes, Shigura are very important creatures to us here at the lab. Once a year they come from the South Island to the shore here. When they do, they bring a stone called the Luna Stone with them. That stone has the mysterious ability to rapidly increase human brain power. Thanks to the Luna Stone, this lab is home to the world's best thinkers. So it's vital that we be able to communicate with the Shigura too. And that's why we've already developed a Shigura translation device. Hey, you! Yes, sir? Go get me the shell talkie. Yes, sir. All that brain power, they couldn't think of a better name. Thanks. Here you go. Obtained the shell talkie. Roger, roger. So we can talk to the sea dragons with this. Well, sort of. You'll only be able to understand Shigura with a comparatively high level of intelligence. Not Shigura children, for example. I guess that means a chat with Shingala is out. Thanks, Dr. Knob. We'll be back. We'll see you then. I don't know why everyone's laughing. It's a perfectly normal name. There are biscuits in the UK called Hobnob. Take care of the shell, Tucky. now. That's one of Luna Lab's most important inventions. And you're giving it to a child. How mistaken you will be when you find out there is nothing left. <laughs> right, I was trying to find out that list where I was looking at the uh, chest that you can find, but I don't seem to be able to find it. I'll tell you what, I'll skip ahead until I'm in the, in, back in the past, and while I'm away, I'll have a little look. And we've got the device. Time to head to... The other end, for starters. Not this end, the other end. There we go. And go and do the Shingura village. Now, my little natural history analysis of the creatures known as Shingura. I seem to be able to work out their social structure. They seem to have, they seem to be sort of matriarchal. Except it's not a, no, what's the word? Oh, what do they call it? It's, oh, I forget the correct term, but it's where there's a male in charge and he has like a harem of females. That one over there is the male. It is smaller than the rest, but it's actually the same size. Uh, so that'll be the male, and that'll be obviously all his females and all of his offspring. So I think that'll be what it is. Now, let's try talking to someone. I mean, no, we can't talk to these babies. But let's try anyway, just see what happens. What happens if I press this? I want one. Let's try talking to a female. This is our village elder. Be on your best behaviour, please. Oh, so I can speak to those then. To be fair, they said high intelligence, so... I guess so. We are a migrating race, and every year we make the long journey to come here. I mean, to be fair, it could be matri mat matriarchal. This place is where we ally our fatigue from our long journey, so please, do keep it down. 